Social media is something many college students can't seem to live without. But beyond the likes and notifications, the dangers of it are often hidden. It just kind of contributed to this feeling of like worthlessness. That's why Baylor senior Rachel Kraft took to social media to share something that wasn't so picture perfect. She posted saying, quote, Instagram consistently reminds me that other people have it better because we post the happy moments and the good days. But what about the deep, dark shame moments and the overslept, running late, can't do anything right days? What do we post then? Nothing. I wanted to kind of address like the struggling and like, I want other people to think I have it all together and I want to keep up the illusion that my life is this great fun thing and you know things just go smoothly all the time and I don't have issues. And she isn't alone. A 2014 Baylor study estimates that college students are using their cell phones for about 8 to 10 hours a day and a large part of that is getting wrapped up into social networking sites. Former Vanderbilt student Larissa May experienced this problem firsthand during college and she created a movement called Hashtag Half the Story where people can openly talk about the part of their lives that doesn't usually make it on social media. Because the reality is we actually have so much more common with the people around us or so the people that we're friends with than we actually know. There are these commonalities even at Baylor. Of the people who went to the counseling center last year, over half of them were dealing with some form of depression, anxiety, or relationship problem. For Kraft, her half of the story is that for the past few years, she has suffered from anxiety, depression, and was diagnosed with a bipolar disorder. And that's meant failing classes, taking incompletes, taking semesters off, and doing a lot of therapy, taking a lot of different medications, trying to figure out what to do and how to take care of myself. But Kraft encourages others to open up and talk about their half of the story and to remember that social media doesn't always reflect the truth. As hard as it is, reach out to someone. And staying silent is easier, but it's definitely um, more detrimental. Reporting for LTVN, I'm Jessica Babb.